Keto biscuits and gravy. Pretty good stuff. Hello and welcome to Rita's Roost. What are we going to make this morning? Well, y'all know that I'm on this ketogenic diet, and I'm a doing good. I'm a losing slow, but I'm trying to change my way of eating, and that means cut out the carbs. So, but what do I miss? I miss biscuits. Biscuits. That's what I miss. I can make gravy all right, but the biscuits just just not not the same fluffy buttermilk biscuits that I can make so good when I won't do with that regular flour. But I run across a new recipe, and it's Keto Biscuits, and it, it calls for three-fourths cup of cold egg whites with the almond flour and the, and the cold butter. Well, in here I have one cup and two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of cold butter, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to mix that up, and then I'm going to get us some egg whites and put in it. And I've got the oven preheating to 400. Let's see if I got that on there. All right, I'm going to I'm going to turn it on right quick, just for a little bit. I'll see Terry coming in. He'll probably sneak in on this and see. I'm hoping to get this done before he got back from haying, but I'm not. Don't think I'm gonna make it. See if I can separate these egg whites. Should have already had this done. My little chickens are still laying pretty good. I'm gonna save them whites, them yellows, to do something else with. Separate them. I've placed a, another order with Timu or whatever that company's called and I got an egg separator this time coming. I'll have to show you that when it gets here. Where you pour the egg in there and it and it separates. Yeah, I placed another order. I was pretty happy with that first one. That first order. And I showed you guys that a few days ago. I'm trying to get three fourths of a cup. And they're cold egg whites. I just took them Take these eggs out of the refrigerator. And I guess it's not like making an angel food cake where you wouldn't want to get any of the yellow in there. A bit more. What have I got? I've got a half a cup. I probably wouldn't be using this many eggs if I didn't have my own farm fresh eggs. But that's kind of what I'm trying to do on my keto diet. I'm trying to use what I have. <laughs> Got a little piece, of, little piece of hay in there. Come off of that egg. I think I'm going to get one more. This little bainy egg. Because it's, kind, it's an itty bitty one. Why it's not wanting to turn loose. <laughs> well, shoot. There we go. Now I've got three fours of those. And we're going to add them a little bit at a time and pulse it. sheet up here. One of these days I'm going to get me some new shiny ones, but not yet. That's someday. I'm going to... It says it's going to make ten of them. I don't know. I may end up with something like pancakes again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, get this. Ended up with nine of them. Said it made ten, but I may have made them a little bit bigger. Alrighty, the oven is preheated, so I'm gonna put it in the oven for about oh, what did it say? Twelve to fourteen minutes. So I'll be back in 12 to 14 minutes and we'll try our biscuits. I've got some homemade butter we can try them with. We'll see. Well, I'm back. I used my pretty chicken pot holders and got these keto biscuits out of the oven. I haven't tried one yet, but here goes. Let's see. I said made nine of them. They're pretty. They're kind of they're kind of flat. Let's see what they look like inside. <gasps> You know what? They look like a biscuit inside. Well, let's get my plate. That pan's still hot. Cause that, that looks good. I mean, I'm gonna burn myself. I'm trying to scoot those back so I can get my plate over here. Let's take a bite plain first. That's not bad. And I did, I did put in and make a little gravy in my gravy. I thickened it with the, with the, thickened it with the, uh, just a little bit of this, what I thickened it with. Let me just dip my biscuits in there. See how my gravy with that stuff is. This is my keto breakfast, and you know what? Here I got some, got some homemade butter. Let's put a little homemade butter on that. The recipe says that one net gram, one, one net carb each. You know what? These are the best keto biscuits I've had in a long time. I guess it's that three fourths cup of of egg whites had done it. I'll make these again. Now I've got this strawberry jam that I made, but it's got all that sugar in it, so I'll have to let Mr. Terry eat that. But I've got this I bought, I bought it a couple years ago, and I kind of save it. I don't eat much of it. But how about we put just just a little bit of that on there. It's sugar-free. Just for a little bit of a sweet treat. Because I like my sweets. <laughs> That's good, too. So, you could have these biscuits with with my gravy. You know, we need some bacon or sausage or something. But I don't have, don't have none of that right now. Since I'm just making this video. I'll keep eating. Let's just break up. That's all I've got left of that whole biscuit. Yeah, I may be doing this ketogenic diet, but I'm going to eat good. And this recipe, it's a keeper. So if you're ketogenic or eating a keto diet, you need to try this one. Alright. That's so good. I 
I may not be losing weight as fast as some people on this diet because I like to eat. But but I am losing slowly but surely and I'm feeling better. My aches and pains are getting better. So all good out here. See y'all later. Bye.